Today's short video was filmed by Con Kelp. What we have here is a single story commercial occupancy well involved with fire. For the life of me, I will never understand why companies don't bring water with them into the incident when they know they have a working fire. The firefighters exit the apparatus and drop their hose in the street. Not a real hose lay. They don't have on their SCBAs, self-contained breathing apparatus. Is safety not a concern for them? Or is negligence the operative word of the day? We don't know what's burning in that occupancy, so why breathe the combustible byproducts of it? Nine times out of ten, they cause cancer. Do not gamble with your life. Next, why is the firefighter spraying water at the top of the building? One of the first things they teach you is to spray water at the seat of the fire. Next, we have the second arriving company getting their hose line ready and they approach the building. The puzzling part of their operation is that they tell the primary unit to stop applying water and their hose line does not have water. More interestingly, they never get water to their hose line. What is going on? Let's watch. The primary attack company starts applying water again. Here's my contention. If the engineer supplying the water to the second company's hose line had trouble with his water supply, why didn't the second attack company take the good hose line from the first attack company, go in and put the fire out, seeing as how the first company was not suited up properly to do their job? This video was short but provided more than enough information for us to see that these companies should have performed better.